Yeah, so what's up guys? Uh, today I have one of the craziest story uh, to tell you. It was absolutely insane. It literally just happened and I just got home and I have to tell you about this. So today I was supposed to go to uh, the NLCS, right? I was so ready. I wanted to uh, go see uh, my friend from Optic Gaming who is now the coach. I, w I wanted to root for him. I wanted to uh, see 100 feet versus TSM. I, I just woke up. I was so hyped after watching the World Cup and everything. So I go there. And I'm like, I scanned my ticket with my phone, so I'm like, hey, this is the QR code, boof. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work. I'm like, what? What do you mean it doesn't work? I'm like, yeah, it just doesn't work. There must be a problem. And I'm like, wait, what the hell? Like, I, I bought it from the Lowly Sport website. They asked me, oh, did you buy this from a, a, a weird website, blah, 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 because apparently there's a lot of scam. And I was like, no. It's like, oh, let me check. Maybe I got the wrong date. And I checked the date, and it says July 14th. And today is July 7th. So I'm like, fuck, like, fuck, literally, like, I'm not going to go to the LCS today. Like, I have to, I have to go back, get, get the car, I did the whole drive and everything, and I'll just go home without just literally losing an hour of my day. And she's like, okay, this is going to be the craziest thing, but someone came earlier and his friend couldn't come, so he left the free ticket uh, to give to someone who randomly passes away. And here I come. Here I come as the savior, taking the free ticket to the Riff Rivals. So what's funny about this is that I don't really follow LOL Esports that much anymore. I don't know, I just I just got bored of it. Like I, I used to watch LCS every weekend, I used to shoutcast SCS every weekend. It's just like, it's a game that I put so many hours on it that I'm just like... I will watch like the World Championship, the final of the LCS. But just on an on and on basis, I'm just, I'm not following at all. And today was the Riff Rival Finals. And I had no idea. I literally had no clue. Uh, and I walk into a stage where Fnatic is playing Eco Fox on a 2-1 best of 5. If Fnatic wins, they win the, f the whole thing. If Eco Fox uh, win, then it's like a last game, I think between TSM or something like that. Or I, I, I didn't really understand, but whatever. So I walk into a whole crowd like this, like just chanting... N A U S A U S A, and I'm like, what the hell is happening? And I see like, I remember the first thing walking on the the whole stage that I saw was, I saw Soas, Soas from Fnatic. I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing here? Like, what? Like Soas transferred to N A? There's no way. Like, there's no way. And I okay, like just look around, and I was like, oh, this is the Rift Rivals. This is fucking crazy. I started going on my phone, Lolly Sports. Oh, what is going on? I, I checked what was going on. EU versus NA, how many points every team had, what was the format type, and it was the last game. And the game was absolutely crazy, man. In my heart, I, when I was in France, I was a huge NA fan, but coming in, I was like, I, I really wanted EU to win, you know why? Because I, I've been watching World Cup, like the soccer World Cup, and I've been really rooting for France. And I don't know, I felt like closer to Fnatic. I really wanted them to win. I saw Soez, I really wanted him to win as a French fellow. Uh, and overall, it was a great show. I only got to watch one game because it was the last, it was literally the last game of the NLC, uh, of the Rift Rivals. So I literally came in, watched the last game, uh, clapped for uh, uh, EU, uh, said hi to uh, Romain, uh, the guy with the body paint that you see on every stage. Very cool guy, by the way, who uh, he is the... I think he's the general manager of Optic Gaming now, and every time I go to an event, he's like all like body painted and like he's such a cool guy. If you guys ever see him, go say hi. Like he's French, so it was easy for me to connect with him. But he's always a very nice guy. And yeah, it was just, just what a random day. Like sometimes in life, just things just like it just flows. I didn't have a ticket. The guy's like, oh, I happen to have a free ticket. Just go in. And also the last thing is that. She, the, the, so the, per, the girl at the entrance that told me that she had a free ticket, uh, she told me, she described me the guy who came to give the free ticket. It's like, oh, look for someone with like a, a cross or something, like a hat with like a, a cross on the, embroidered on it, and I never found this guy. So, if this video, if you randomly stumble upon this video, man, thank you so much. I'm sorry that your friend couldn't make it. It was a hell of a show. Uh, and yeah, man, you made you made my day, bro. Like honestly, hell yeah, dude. I'm so happy. I'm. It was such a random. I like so, when things are spontaneous and random, and this was just the perfect example of a of a day like that. So yeah, I just wanted to share my story uh, and the story of this day. That was really cool. I really want to keep a memory of this because that was that was pretty awesome, to be honest. If you guys come to LA, definitely check out the NLCS or whatever. Uh, 
competition they're hosting there. The arena is very nice. The seats are very comfy. Uh, it's not a big stage. Like, it, it, it seems really big online when you watch it on Twitch. But there's got to be, like, 150 or 200 people seated. And that's pretty much it. And there's a nice merch tour and everything. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you for the next video. Guys, I cannot believe I got into the LCS with a ticket I didn't buy. And it ended up being the finals for the Rift Rivals. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. And I'm so glad I did it. Look at this. Woo. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you for the next video. Peace.